You gotta be loving. You gotta be able You're hitting down. You're grounded. Time out. You're in a timeout. Hey guys, we'll try this again. Welcome back to my channel. I don't have a bra on. Because I'm starting a new series on my channel called PJ Party. Woo! Um, basically what I'm literally in my pajamas right now. If you were wondering. Um, but I'm in a turning chair and I keep turning. Stop turning. Um, basically, I, my idea for this is I'm just gonna sit down and chill with you guys. Basically, like, we're having a pajama party as girlfriends, just hanging out. And the things that I'm gonna talk about during a pajama party, what I'm gonna do is just, what I'm gonna do is sit down in my PJs, um, nighttime or early, early morning, like right now. It's like 7 o'clock. I have a cup of coffee here. It's hot. Oh God. <sighs> Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. With me. Yeah. All right, so in today's video, I am gonna do a 25 facts about me. Um, questions. And I wrote them down. I just like literally googled 30 facts about me questions. And then I just like wrote down the first 25 that I saw. So without even like picking or choosing. I just kind of wrote them down to be honest with you. Um, I to, I don't know, sit here and tell you guys some things about me. So you get to know me better. Um, I don't feel like I have enough followers yet to like do a Q&A. <laughs> But one of these days, hopefully, we can do that together. So, yeah. But let's start with 30 facts about me. Because I'm, like, so interesting. The literal most interesting person on the planet. If you hear chewing, it's my dog chewing on a bone most annoying thing in the world but he's occupied and that's all I care about okay question number one what is your full name my full name is Stephanie Ann Scoto not a n n e a n n Stephanie Ann Scoto <laughs> um, question number two are you named after anybody yes I guess you can say um, my dad and mom named me Stephanie because my dad uh, loved the show Full House and he loved Stephanie's character off of Full House. And that's how I got my name actually. Um, and then my middle name is actually my mom's middle name and her mom's middle name and her mom. So it's kind of like a family middle name. But my first name came from Full House. So shout out to you Full House. You're the real MVP. Number three, what do you call your grandparents? Uh, I call my grandparents Avu and Avu. Uh, I'm Portuguese. I'm half Portuguese. My dad is full-blooded Portuguese, which means they're full-blooded Portuguese too. Mic drop. So yeah, I call them Avu and Avu. Um, question number four, what inspires you? Um, I have a lot of inspirations. Uh, actually, from friends, family, um, my parents actually inspire me all the time. Um, my, they have their own business and my dad works really hard every day. He has his whole life and, uh, they really inspire me. But, um, also, um, knowing that in the future I'll have children, that really inspires me because I want to be the best that I can be for them. I'm constantly dreaming I'm constantly you know wanting to achieve things it's I always want to be better so um me I kind of inspire myself also my dog inspires me because I want to be the best dog mom for him question number five who is your favorite celebrity this is a toughie okay this is a tough one
I really love Melissa McCarthy. I love hands down all of her movies. Um, she is literally so funny. Um, I just, I love her. I think she's hilarious. I think she's beautiful. I think that she's like in the raw herself and I just love that. Uh, so she's my favorite celebrity. Um, also, I guess music artist could be a celebrity too. I love Maren Morris. She is so cute. Uh, I want to be her. So, uh, if God could give me a singing voice, that would be great. Cause I'm a 90s baby in my age is Mercedes. Question number six. What is your favorite food and drink? This is an easy one for food. Hands down sushi. I'll literally eat sushi every single day of my life. Without a doubt. If someone every single day was like, do you want sushi? Yes. If a sushi chef told me that he was going to come to my house and make me sushi every day, I would probably faint. I love it that much. Uh, so sushi is my favorite food. I mean, I love coffee and stuff, but I'd have to say I'm, I'm hands down a beer and wine girl. Like, any time of the day, it's okay to have a glass of red wine and, and like, a, a really big beer, you know, like an ice-cold beer. I don't want to say any time of day because I'm not condoning alcoholism. Like, that's not at, like, I mean, you know, I guess it just depends on the situation. We're going to get off this topic. Water's my favorite drink. Look at all that. Seven. Question number seven. Are you more likely to engage in conflict or avoid it? That's a great question. The question, God, you're great. Um, to be honest with you, it just depends. I'm not, I hate confrontation, but if you're coming for my family, uh, my parents, my brother, my boyfriend, my dog, you know, anything in my, anybody in my family or my best friends, if you're coming for them, you're going to hear, you're going to hear me. I'm going to, I'm going to come at you like a, like a feral cat. But other than that, I really avoid it. Like, I could care less about drama. I don't like it. I don't like to involve myself in it. But if you come from my family or my best friends, I will, you know. Question number eight. Who is the first person you call when something exciting happens? Wow, I solid don't even, I have like a top five. That's bad, isn't it? But I literally, I'll call my mom. I'll probably call my mom first. It's a tie between my mom and my boyfriend, but my boyfriend is really busy all day long, you know, working and stuff. So I don't want to bug him because, um, so I'll probably call my mom. It's a tie between my mom and my boyfriend that'll go first. Then it'd be, if none of them answered, then it'd be my best friend, Katie. And if she didn't answer, then it'd be my best friend, Brittany, that hoe bag. And if she didn't answer, it'd be my cousin, my cousin, Gustin. So that's my top five. But first off, I'm going to go straight for my mom and my boyfriend. They have a tie right there. Nine. Who was your first celebrity crush? I don't even have to think about this one. Aaron Carter. When he was in the Lizzie McGuire show, don't even, don't even come for me on this because you know, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Here we go. And then I had a hard crush on Steven Tyler. And um, yeah, that stands till this day. I love him. All right, question number 10. What is your most used swear word? Uh. I guess it's that one. Question number 11. What is your zodiac sign? Wow. I totally forgot that I lost a nail. Don't judge me. The rest of them are all on. But this one. This one's on. Birthday is September 9th. Don't forget it. So, uh, yeah, I'm a Virgo. Question number 12. How many tattoos do you have? One. Um, my dad was never a really big fan of tattoos. But I always wanted one. I just always said, 
I'd never get it unless it had meaning to me. Uh, this one does. Question number 13. Where would you want to retire to? I don't even have to think about this one either. Pismo Beach. That is my favorite place in the whole entire world. We go there so often, my family and I. So it's my favorite place in the whole world. I'd probably, I'd go there and, and live there in a heartbeat. Question number 14. What is the first thing you do when you open your eyes in the morning? Well, there's two times I open my eyes in the morning. My boyfriend wakes up for work at like 4 a.m. So I peek one eye open like this and give him a kiss goodbye. Then I close him again. And then I'm up at like 5.30 again. So the first thing I do is roll over and give my puppy a bunch of kisses because he's usually laying right on my head. Like literally right here, that's how he sleeps. So I give him a kiss and then I get out and I probably go pee next. That's next. Question number 15, what was your first ever cell phone? Uh, wow, I had a flip phone, like a legit LG, like flip phone, not even a razor, it's an LG. Uh, the rule was in my house, we could not get a cell phone until we graduated eighth grade and were a freshman in high school. So when I went to high school, uh, I got a cell phone and it was a flip phone. It wasn't very cool, but back then, what Question number 16, what is the best part of your job? Wow, uh, I guess that I'm, <laughs> I'm in charge. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I work with a bunch of older married men and I have my own little space. It's only me in there. So I guess I get my own time, you know, to do things and focus and it's always easier to work around men, I feel like. I feel like women in an office setting or, you know, everybody has like an authoritative like vibe about him when you're with working with a bunch of women. So I really enjoy working with a bunch of older men that really don't care about anything but making money so their wives can buy new stuff. That's, that's, take note. Animals scare you most, question number 17. Okay, well, let's just be honest right here. I hate praying mantises. Okay, I know it's not like it, like a, a it's an insect. It's a freaking insect, but seriously, I hate them. I will have an anxiety attack if I see one. No joke. No joke. They look like little, ugh. I don't even want to talk about it. Question number 18, what do you do for a living? Uh, I am an office manager for an ag towing and transport company. So, yeah, that's what I do. But uh, soon we'll be a teacher. So, watch out, Youth of America. I'm coming for you. Yeah, question 19. When did you suffer your first heartbreak? I actually made a video. This is my first ever YouTube video. Um, that was awful. Yeah. I was about... I was 22, 23? I just turned 23. Um, yeah, that was a really awful, awful time. Um, I haven't made an update video on it. It's been a couple years. Um... Yeah, that was a hard one. That was a bad one. That was a bad breakup. That was one of those breakups where, uh, <sighs> there was lying and cheating involved. And then, can you not turn my chair? I'm trying to talk about some serious stuff, bruh. Of lying and, and cheating involved. And, um, I got my heart broke real, real bad. But you know what? It's, it's okay because um, life goes on, time heals all wounds, and your Prince Charming is out there. And I found mine thanks to that. So I'm very thankful. St Listen, you're on the naughty list. 
Santa is coming for you. Come here. So, yeah, I'm uh, really thankful for where I'm at today. <laughs> I love my boyfriend now, and um, if it wasn't for that, I would have never met him. So, you know what? One door closes and another door opens. But, yeah, that was a bad one. 23 years old. Wasn't prepared for it, didn't expect it, and it took me a long time to get over it. Number 20. Where are you from? Um, I am from California, a small town in California. Oh, Cali, don't get me started. Question number 21. What is the most important thing in your life? It's a great question. Um, my family is number one. My family and my boyfriend. Um, this little bugger here, he's heavy. He's one of them. Um, my family, you know, my boyfriend, my health, um, that's really important to me. God, he's, 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 uh, he's up there with number one. So, yeah. My faith, my family, my boyfriend, this little peanut, my little peanut. <coughs> Sorry, I coughed in your face. Question number 22, what is your favorite color? Purple. Question number 23, does your name make any interesting anagrams? Yes, actually. My name is uh, all pieced together. My initials are S-A-S, which is a sass, and I'm quite sassy, so that goes great. <laughs> Question number 24, what scares you about aging? Oh. This is a depressing but good one. Um, I I don't really care about the wrinkles and the getting older. Uh, I think that the scariest part about aging and growing up and years going by is losing my parents. One day that's going to be a thing. Yeah, I think just losing the ones I love. I don't ever want that to happen, but it's an unavoidable Thing, part of life so it's quite awful last question how difficult is it for you to forgive someone who refuses to apologize well if my ex would just watch my heartbreak story and apologize things would be a whole lot easier right it used to be a lot harder for me um, I used to really really hold grudges like harbor on the fact that someone did something wrong and didn't say sorry for it like that really bothered me you know as I've gotten older I think that forgiving somebody doesn't make you weak it sets you free in a way you know harboring these feelings and emotions of anger towards somebody because you just want them to say sorry we can't control other people's actions you know we may think that they need to be sorry but they may not think that and that's okay you cannot expect somebody to feel sorry for their actions you can't because not everybody is a good person not everybody has you know morals and values and to be honest with you there's very few people in this world that are willing to take responsibility for their actions I used to be really upset about it I used to get hurt I used to say I'll never forgive them but that was stopping me from moving on from situation the hardest thing you'll ever do in your life is forgive somebody who's not sorry but you have to do it to set yourself free after that depressing conversation, whoa. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me and all of these facts about me. Um, I just wrote them down, so I don't know if there's more you guys want to go know. <laughs> there's more you guys want to know, feel free to ask. I am an open <laughs> book. You quit. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed. I upload new videos every Saturday. So come back next Saturday because So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go about my day with my crazy puppy and I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Ow.